Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Gorges. Gorge, valley, canyon. How do they differ? A valley is an elongated depression between uplands, hills or mountains. If we looked into a section of crust, a valley would look like this in cross-section, V-shaped, many kilometres long and wide, or could be glacially carved, giving us a U-shaped valley. A canyon is a deep valley with steep sides, like this, often with a stream flowing through it, as the Grand Canyon in North America demonstrates. A gorge is a narrow cleft with steep, rocky walls, like this, especially one through which a stream runs, like this. Gorges are also termed small canyons. Gorges are formed in either of four ways. By the powers of erosion, due to geological uplift, due to both erosion and geological uplift, or by movement and melting of glaciers. Imagine a large plateau, which, if we study it, we can see it is built up of interbedded layers of hard and soft layers of rock. Across this flows a river. The river flows over the edge of the plateau, forming a waterfall. Please do watch our Geology and a Jiffy video about waterfalls. From that video, we know that over a long time, erosion wears away the rocks via the processes of hydraulic action, attrition and abrasion. The river starts to erode the surface of the plateau, eroding vertically downwards, the river descending into the plateau. Further downward erosion enables the river to sink further into the rock. Not only does the river road downwards, but, at the waterfall, the river also erodes back into the cliff face too. This continues with the river carving an ever deeper gorge down and into the plateau. If we look at the gorge horizontally from the side, we can see the waterfall receding backwards, away from the cliff face, continually eroding further into the plateau. If we look directly at the cliff face from our original plateau of layered rock, over time, Erosion has carved the gorge, as we can see in this gorge in China. That's amazing! Cheddar Gorge, in England, seen from above, winds its way from the cliff scarp, the 137 metre deep gorge carved by Pleistocene aged periglacial meltwater floods, down into the Carboniferous Age limestone that lays above the lower older strata that form the lower valley floor. If we view Cheddar Gorge where it exits to the valley at the scarp slope, the cross-section is quite large and more canyon in form. And if we look into the more upper winding sections of the gorge, we see the steeply walled sides of the gorge, with the prehistoric riverbed at its base. Another famous gorge is the Niagara Gorge, this found along the Canada-United States border. The gorge being 11 kilometres long, stretching from the shores of Lake Erie in the south, from the famous Niagara Waterfalls, where the Niagara River drops over 50 metres, eroding away the limestone bedrock and its underlying softer layers in a southward direction at a rate of about 20 centimetres per year, resulting in the falls having receded about 11 kilometres in 12,000 years. Wow! Gorges! Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!